You're listening to the Shady Designs Podcast, the show where you'll discover all the inside tips and stories behind Australia's favorite artists, designers, and experts. Now here's your host, Arif Imran. Hi, and welcome back to the Shady Designs Podcast. This is a really exciting episode. This is where you get to discover how easy it is to re-inspire your space in using a couple of quick techniques. So ways that you can re-inspire a space by giving it some personality, some character, a lift and some colour by using one of these six groovy techniques. On the top of our list is definitely got to be lampshades and picking a fabric or a texture and colour that can kind of complement what you've got already. So think about uh, those old daggy floor lamps that you might have in the room or there might be a shade hanging in the ceiling that needs to be changed over. Well, you can choose a design of fabric, something that um, works well with maybe an artwork that's in the room, maybe you've got some colours on the walls already, maybe you've got a feature rug on the floor. So finding colours that you think will really work well together and picking up on that and including that in your lampshade. So ceiling pendants is a really great first step. So replacing something old and daggy and putting in a new um, ceiling light. Cushions are like the icing on the cake. So that's our number two. Cushions, because they're scatterable, let's say, you can put a couple on the couch and you can even have floor cushions in different colors or different textures again. You might want to tie it in with your lampshade. You might want to tie it in with some other part of the room. Maybe you don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. So maybe you want the cushions to be slightly different to um, what you've already got in the space. So slightly different to the lampshade. The good thing about fabric collections is they come in as a series. So you might find one pattern in five colors and then it's got a coordinating pattern or texture in the rest of the book. So you can choose from the books and see what kind of works together as a family. Or you might just find another collection altogether and sort of go, look, this is my favorite fabric. And then I'll have another fabric, which is my second favorite as my other scatter cushions and mix up the sizes. So they don't all have to be the same and neither do you need to make them double sided. So you can have plain backs on the cushions. And that's a really cost effective way of making a really big collection. So the plain back being less costly and then the fancy fabric on the front. At Shady Designs, we've also got a cushion special where you can choose any three scatter cushions using any of our off-cut fabrics or um, maybe the ready-to-go cushions for only $165. You should check it out. Here's a really dramatic way of creating some inspiration in your room and that's with decorative wallpapers. So I think there's three ways to look at wallpaper. So you could choose a wallpaper or even a color of the wall if you wanted to talk about painting it. And the background is the wall. So think of the room as the walls as as the sort of canvas for an, an artwork. So the background can be quite bold or you might want it to be very subtle, or you might want to do something that's in between. So here's a few examples of what others have done. So maybe you've got really loud furniture. So the, that means you're probably going to want to keep the, the, the walls quite, quite subtle and, and soft in tone. So light colored walls means dark colored feature pieces in front of it. That's one way of kind of making things stand out against each other and vice versa. So. Um, you you can mix it up that way. You might want to just do a really sort of heavy stripe and then you've got uh, blocks of colour in your couches or maybe you've got some artworks that are just quite big and 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 less detailed so big blocks so you can you can break that up with stripes as well. Or on the other hand you might want to go really loud but I've found that the most common way is to keep the wallpapers quite muted and then you can explore doing some really groovy things in front of that. Feature walls if you want to go for a really loud wallpaper is another way around it so most often it's behind a bed head with a feature wall can create some instant atmosphere and that also means you don't have to sort of invest in 
in artworks, if you've got a big space that you think needs to be filled, um, then wallpapers is certainly perfect for that sort of situation. And also feature walls um, along one side of your living space. When you think of room decorating, and you might want to check out our blog post, Three Step Decorating, you want to look at the walls, look at the floors, and then you've got your feature pieces. So feature pieces includes side lamps. Side lamps are table lamps or floor lamps. You might want to do floor lamp that is quite grand and ornate, or you might want to do the same with your table lamp. So find a lamp base that's going to be really interesting and that can be the focus of the room and that interesting piece can also be a sculptural piece and then the lampshade can be quite simple on top of that. Let's think about rugs because that is the second part of our three-step decorating. Well your floors are really another part of the palette so armadillo are great because they've got two kinds of designs They've been really popular because they released their first collection, which was very earthy and muted. And that works well when you've got really colorful things already in the room. But then what happens if you want to go the other direction? Well, the Latitude collection is fantastic because it's bright, vibrant, and funky. The designs are really, I, I, I'd have to describe the designs as sort of, um, They've got that ethnic kind of flavour to them, but they've got that bright, modern, spunky amount of colour. And uh, being a wool fabric, they're really hard wearing. So that's fantastic if you've got, um, if you've got kids and you've got a, a really cold floor like a, a concrete or a tile, or maybe you've got um, uh, polished floorboards in the space. We've got um, a really groovy picture up there of our rug in our um, 70s inspired beach house and you can see how it kind of really gives that old looking beach house a, 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 an instant lift and it's got to be one of my favorite things uh, to, to lie down on. And finally we've been often asked about custom mattresses and I think this is because of the sort of growing um, outdoor um, area kind of refurb. So people wanting outdoor mattresses or um, day beds that go outside. So outdoor fabrics are certainly available. You also might want to have like a banquet seat. So restaurants or even installed in homes at the moment, people are having sort of long bench seating with, um, with uh, lift openable um, storage areas. My tip here is if, you're, if you've got four lids, you want four cushions. There's no point having a long cushion and two lids because it just gets in the way. So you want to make it easy for, for yourself to get in there. So my uh, most often, if it's just a sort of seating area, you only need the, um, the, the foam to be about five centimetres high. Um, you can take it up to 10 centimetres if you uh, want it to be kind of particularly um, cushy, but think about how low your 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 guests are going to be sitting on the on the um, on the foam. So um, around about five centimeters is is good enough to give your 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 butt a nice cushion. Um, then certainly with the um, the day beds that you're going to lie down on, you can you can have an, an extra sort of comfier foam. And then we wrap we wrap that again in that Dacron stuff. So it's really sort of um, really really cozy. And when your friends come over to sleep over, it's, it's, it's like a, a, a really comfortable mattress. So there's our six ways to re-inspire your space. Um, we've got lampshades, cushions, wallpapers, side lamps, rugs, and custom mattresses are really excellent ways of giving that room, uh, which doesn't really have too much going for it, an instant lift. Uh, really fast ways to, to, to put something groovy in there and because you can customize those those fabrics or those wallpapers you can find a color that really suits you and maybe even pop into Shady Designs or jump on our website shadydesigns.com.au and find out what other people have done and see some photos of, of previous projects and that can kind of give you some inspiration as well and start looking at fabrics so 
getting fabrics involved, putting together some little mood boards or switch boards, maybe even build a little uh, collection of photos that you really love and, and post that to your Facebook and see what other people feel like. Um, you can also give us a call here on 02-8065-4658 and give us, um, yeah, let us know a bit about, you, about your project and we can kind of give you some ideas as well. Hope this has been really fun. Stay tuned to our next episode and leave us a comment in, uh, in the bottom of this post as well. You've been listening to the Shady Designs podcast. See ya.